Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, it's a pretty crazy video. Uh, I'm gonna show you the hardest path I, I tried to do itemless um, in Act 7.1. I just finished this morning completely itemless. I didn't get to stream any of it because I don't even have the Elgato yet, but I should be getting one soon. But what, ma what makes this path so hard? So if y if this path wasn't itemless, it would not be nearly as terrible. But because it was, it was like just awful. Basically, what this path is is vivified. So they get 200% more power, so it's just crazy power gain. Um, power alternator, every 15 seconds, if you have more power than them, then they take your power for themselves. And all specials are unblockable. So it's really just spam specially. And I think that makes it annoying. It's not even like the node, well the node itself is also annoying, but it's like the characters on the node, on the path are really bad. But there's another node called, <coughs> oh, hold on. I got some of my throat one second. Ah. There's another node called whenever a science attacker, so if you bring a science character in there, would activate a special attack, they have a 100% chance to innervate the defender for 6 seconds, preventing them from gaining power when struck. Uh, whenever the innervate would expire, um, if you have a debuff um, on, it'll eat one of your debuffs and reapply itself. Basically, um, this path is just very hard. It's not fun. I don't enjoy it at all. But you'll see what makes it hard soon. So this first fight's pretty simple. You just gotta slow put play it. Um, but you're gonna see it in the end. I play like a like a complete god, and I just you'll see. It's just it was painful. This would be this would have been a good path to stream, but I recorded it because um, yeah, it was just painful, very painful indeed. So first we got this Jin Foster. I mean, obviously this fight's just very slow, but what makes this path hard, really, is the insane power gain, and then there's just there's annoying characters on the path. The next fight after this is a Heimdall, and 200% power gain Heimdall that steals your power, especially when he has um, special twos that you can't block or dodge. Not very fun. Not very fun indeed. Um, so, with that being said, uh, we kill Jan Foss and we go to Heimdall. And then this is where the path gets hard, because on this path there's a Heimdall, there's a... I think the other hard fight is Tigra, and Tigra is painful, and then the boss. So we go to the time doll. Oh, and it's also a long shot. He's not terrible, but it's really just the Heimdall, the Tigra, and the boss. Because if you know anything about Tigra, she's not very fun. So here we go into the hot fight with Doom, and we make our first mistake. Um, you'll see what it is in a second, but I was not aware of this, but apparently, I hold block here so it isn't special. Apparently, this node uh, does not allow you to take their power, power drain them, do anything with their power in any way. So, I just get clapped your doom. I get absolutely destroyed. I try to just figure out something, but there's nothing I can do. I just get clapped. There's not much you can do in this fight. Um, with doom, at least. I didn't realize that you can't drain their power. I went for it again in case, like, I accidentally missed it the first time where I was tripping. But I guess not. No, I read the note after this, and turns out I'm just a scrub, and I didn't read the note fully. So it throws a special two, or a special three, very fun. I get clapped, Doom gets destroyed, and yeah. Oh, actually, Doom's still alive. I don't remember that, but apparently I live. But I'm probably gonna die right after. I think I might just leave the fighter sign because uh, there's not much you can really do in this fight. Um, I think I might. I don't know. What do I do in this fight? I don't know. I might just try to play it out with Doom, but I think I'd die soon, so. Also, Heimdall is auto-block, which makes it very annoying. The thing that makes this path super hard is the power alternator node. Um, but you see, towards the end of the video, I, I think of a god-tier solution, and I play like an absolute beast. But, uh, you'll see. Um, this first path, first time, this first run, I was just testing the path, testing the waters, and I just was just not enjoying it, so... Yeah, I think Doom just fucking dies here, and I think I leave eventually. Um, the oh, the big problem with this path I found is the boss at the end. Like, even if you can get through the path, the boss is just terrible. So right here, I'm pretty much getting clapped by this Heimdall. And I get auto-blocked, of course, so I don't get the adrenaline. And he's just not cooperating with me at all, and I get slapped. So, I think right here, I decide, you know what, fuck this quest. Um, we're going to go out. Um, this is painful. Maybe I'll try with Archangel. I think I might try with Archangel for a second. Or try with Ghost, but I think I get clapped really quickly. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this path is just too much power gain. You basically, if you want to do this quest itemless, 
you should bring as a science character and i would recommend very much taking off suicides as you're gonna see my god strat coming in soon the problem is the power alternator node kind of just look at that i gave him a second bar of power so now i'm fucked and i just have to eat this up the ass because you can't dodge it it's unblockable and all that um so yeah it's pretty tragic and i think i die in a second here because wait, i'm about to die one second I think I die because I push him to three bars of power, and I think he doesn't throw a special, and then he throws it right when my phasing ends, so I can't block the damage, I just rage quit. <laughs> so that was that first attempt, I got just destroyed, it was just not fun, I, this, I was reading the node to see if I can't power steal, I was kind of just questioning that, so I was going to change up my team, because Doom is kind of fucking useless at this point, so, yeah, when do I switch? And I should switch any second now. Okay, so this is the second run. Um, this one lasted about 10 seconds. I changed my team. I replaced Doom with Medusa. I was going to use Medusa for Heimdall. I didn't think it was the best strat, but I just went for it anyway. But we'll see. I think this path goes very bad really quickly. Um, so yeah, I think I get hit like in the first two seconds of the fight. So I just fucking rage quit. <laughs> second attempt down. So third attempt, we make it through. We make it pretty far. And we're using a new tactic where we use Captain America Infinity War, I believe. And basically what you want to do is you want to parry, okay? You want to get to one bar of power. You have to bait out a few of their specials. But once you throw your first special with Captain America Infinity War, um, you put the Enervate on them so they get, don't get any power. And then you just basically lock them in the corner. The only problem is um, you got to keep throwing special ones. You got to throw basically a shit ton of specials um, for this fight. If you want to play it like super well, like the ultimate cheese way I did it, um, after a while getting the hang of it. Um, so uh, this run, I can think my Cap, America, a few other characters of mine died. So I bought fucking um, Hood to kill this ghost. And I was going to see if I could quake the tiger after this. So I didn't show you the technique yet. I'll show you it um, the next run because I, spoiler alert, do not make this run happen. Um, so we killed ghost after like fucking 200 hits. So that's fun. How many hits was it? Oh, I didn't see. Um, whatever, it was a lot. So you go to Tiger. Our Captain America is at 1 HP. Our Archangel fucking sucks for this node. So does Ghost. Just don't bring him. I found the God Tactic after this, but you'll see that. So now we bring in Quake against Tigra. And if you don't know anything about Tigra, she is probably the hardest character to Quake. Because um, her, her, like, her fucking. The way she lunges at you with a double hit, too, is just so intimidating. And it's, like, really hard to Quake. So I think I get destroyed in this fight. I was pretty sad, but this is the farthest I've ever made it. So this is what the, the third run, I think. This is the third or fourth run. Um, so yeah, we uh, made it pretty far. Um, this just this tiger, just especially with, since the problem with tiger mainly is her specials are fucking crazy, and so is her heavy. All of her like attacks are just crazy as shit. So you see, we got to enervate there, but we're just getting fucked. It doesn't matter, dude. Uh, <laughs> getting destroyed. Um, my tiger. I was actually quaking pretty well here. So now, so now we come in here for the next run. This is the fourth run, and in this run, I was determined. I took off suicides, and this is the technique you're about to see. Um, we got to bait out a special. Um, basically, what we want to do is get her to like 95% of a bar of power, um, and then you can just have her locked. And basically, you want to spam through specials so the power um, alternator node. Um, I think it's called, doesn't give her your power and give her more specials. And basically, this is the god technique. You get Captain America Infinity War, you get to a special, which is the hardest part, because in the beginning of the fight, they got that crazy power gain. And I fucked it up here. Um, I didn't throw my special, and she threw a special. I, you're going to see later in the video, I like start mastering this technique. I go ham, bro. But this is the god strat, but I had to take off suicides. This was the only path I needed to take suicides off of. I did itemless for every other path pretty easily with suicides on. Right here, I got smacked. I was pretty sad, and I was like, okay, one HP. I'm Captain America Infinity War. Got zero parries. There are zero damage parries. Um, I got this. I just got to play like a fucking god. And this was the fourth. This was the, this was the miracle run in my mind. Um, towards the end, you'll see. Um, and I'm just playing. I'm trying to play like a god here. I'm like, everything's riding on this. I'm not too, like, um worried yet because the path is still relatively early we're not even at the tiger yet so i was like listen if i die i can just restart the path um but you're gonna see um later on this run we go for a miracle run and it i'm not gonna spoil what happens but it's fucking insane like this is probably the best i've ever played later in the video you'll see um 
you know, this is just a crazy run. Like you, like this was this run was absolutely insane. Like you got to see this. Like this is a must watch. Like you'll see. Basically, I felt I was feeling myself so hard here, just throwing these fucking heavies in the corner. This is the God tactic, Cap America Infinity War. Take off suicides and spam the special one like the second you get it. You don't want to hold on to your special with this tactic at all. If you hold on to it, you're gonna fuck yourself. So in this team, are, uh, we have Void and Cap and Quake and Falcon and Archangel. Archangel is pretty bad for this path. Like I just recommend we do not bring in him. Um, but I'm gonna try him here for Tigra. Um, I replaced Ghost with Falcon um, for the boss because the boss is really painful. Um, but Ghost is just, I don't know, I just, one thing I realized when I was doing item lists is the more and more I was playing Ghost, the more and more like I just didn't like her. She was obviously really helpful for a lot of paths, but like I was, I, I was finding myself more and more wanting to play like different characters. Right here I get smacked by Tiger Special 2. I mean, don't judge me. Tiger Special 2 is fucking insane. The way she leaves you is insane. It's just disgusting how much it... Her, the range on that shit is insane, dude. Tiger is probably the most... I think she's the most annoying character to fight. I don't think there's anyone that even comes close. So right here, I'm thinking, uh, we got Cap, one health and a dream, bro. For this Tigra. And the hardest part about this fight, once again, is setting it up. Getting to that first um, special one is the hard part. Also, the graphics here might be kind of shit. I forgot to mention. Because the, this file was so large when I recorded this that it was like having trouble sending over. So I had to send it in like a shit graphics. So sorry um, for that, but you'll be fine. Um, you'll be fine. So right here, she throws a special. I mistime it. I'm so sad. I really hate Tiger specials. They're just so, just so at you. So right now, we're going to throw Void in here. Uh, we're going to try to save Quake as long as we can for the boss because that boss is fucking menacing. So right here we throw in uh, Void and a surprise, surprise. I think we're gonna get clapped any second now. I can, I can, after doing this quest a few times, I can evade Tigra more and more now, but um, just those first few runs. I can definitely consistently evade the special one now a little bit, and, but the special two, not really. So right here I get clapped by the special one, of course. I was so close to setting it up, but I died. And now we have to bring in Quake. So. From this point onward, I play like a fucking god, okay? So, Quake, um, she was used in a lot of my itemless runs. Um, I really don't like Quaking, but, like, there were so many times where I only had, like, her left, and I had, like, the final boss, and I only had, like, 10% health in Quake, and I was like, come on, I don't want to restart this path, and then Quake just clutched up. But this fight, you're gonna see, I get clapped pretty hard, but, like, I have, like, a fucking crazy clutch. It's pretty insane, but I'll just let you watch. So I'm trying to throw these enervates off. I'm trying to think, like, what's the best way? Should I quake it or should I kind of keep this enervate up? Like, because the thing is, quaking uh, Tiger is extremely hard, for me at least. If you're a crazy quake player, you probably can do it. But, like, I consider myself top-tier quake player, but Tiger is just fucking insane. Like, her animations are just so, like, in your face. Like, right here. I think I'm going to get clapped. No, I don't. I actually fully dodge this. I'm pretty happy. Oh no, right there. I went in. I didn't realize there was a sec a, the last hit to her special too. That's the other problem with Tiger. I always, she has like so many hits to her special too. Sometimes I think it's over and medicine. Like, it just keeps going. So I'm like, Jesus Christ. So right here, she throws a special one. Right here, I'm like, I'm going to start trying to quake on um, this. Um, I throw a heavy, which probably shouldn't have done that in hindsight. Um, I'm trying to push her back because I do not want to evade her specials against the wall. This is a very painful... Um, her specials against the wall are not fun. Special one, I've gotten it kind of down um, against the wall, but special two, I'm gonna fucking die if that hits me. So right here we get clapped, and I was pretty sad. I was like, Jesus Christ. I'm trying to intercept, trying to like push her back. I don't want her to get close. She's throwing the fucking heavy, of course. I throw my special one, because it's gonna place an enervate, so it won't give her any power, and it'll push her back. Um, she's just fucking, you know, tiger. She's annoying. She throws her special one, dodge it. Start heaven. Um, I'm gonna start trying to quake this fight a little bit more, because just what I'm doing now is not working. I dodge a heavy. I'm uh, taking a lot of blocked hits, which I don't like. Taking a few hits to the face. So right here, we got like 3% health or something like 5. I don't know. I can't see. It's kind of blurry. But we're very low. And this is where I go fucking ultra instinct, bro. I think right here. I might take like one more hit. But I think like I get to like 1% and then I start playing like a god. So I, I bait out a special one. In my mind, I'm thinking, listen, I can't get hit at all. I can't risk giving her power. I need to try to full quake this fight. But I need her to throw a special first. So I'm trying to push her back. Trying to push her back with the block. She's very she's very helpful by not throwing that. Pushing her all the way back. So I could dodge the special too. And now I just gotta bait this shit out. And I do. I feel like a god in this moment. And this is where I go absolute 
Ultra Instinct. I take some more block hits. I'm at 3%. And now I'm like, okay, I cannot take any more hits. I think starting now. So this is where I go. Cue the Ultra Instinct music. Uh, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to get copyrighted. But I, qu I fully quaked this tiger with like 2% health or whatever. And I'm just so scared. I'm in the corner like, Jesus Christ. I can't take any block hits. I can't take any hits. I need to fully quake Tiger, which I've never done before. No, when, I, when I'm doing this with Tiger, I don't bring quake. I bring like someone just to like kill it really quickly. But this is a 200% power um, node. Whoever put 200% power on fucking Tiger, you should honestly kill yourself. But um, we're playing like an absolute beast. We are full quaking these double hits. Uh, it's crazy. Another part part is I've never quaked Tiger before, so I'm not used to her animations. But if we do it. I feel so happy. And then this next fight, we also go God mode. This is a Phoenix. My Quake's at 1%. I want to save Quake for the boss because I think I could Quake the boss with 1%, but I need to, like, perfect. So I'm like, okay, Falcon, this is your time to shine. So I'm going to speed this shit up um, because this fight is long. But basically, this fight was not that bad with 200% power gain because I just kept throwing my special ones and whenever I got them just to push her to two bars of power. I do not want to throw her to a special two. I mean, a special one, because then she'll get massive power gain, and she might fly up to a special three, which I think happens at some point. Um, there's one point in the video, it's probably going to be sped up, but you'll see the power alternator node, she throws a special one right as, um, so, like, right when the power alternator happens. So I have more power than her. It takes my one bar of power, and then the power gain from her special one puts her to a special three. But luckily for me, um... She, okay, she's not doing her special here, but luckily for me, her special just doesn't hit that hard. Um, this is a very long fight. I wasn't worried about putting on the um, the locked on that much because I just was trying to just play the fight. So right here, she gets really close to three bars of power. But I'm like, okay, we're fine. And right here, we're still going. I, I'm trying to remember, when did she get to our special one? Our spe You'll see it eventually. I can't remember when it is, but it's coming up soon. It's very sped up, as you can see. We're just trying to play the long game here and not get hit at all. Um, I brought Falcon because I thought putting locked on to the boss wouldn't get me killed. But, yeah, um, I just, yeah, I just whatever. Uh, I didn't test it in the end of the day. I couldn't, wasn't able to because something happens. You'll see. But, so, we uh, should be coming up soon. So, she, I think, she should be coming up very, I think it's like right here. Okay, when does it happen? I think it's should be now, maybe. Okay, I don't know when I'm going to hit hit by the special three, but it's very soon. That's all I know. Oh, it's right here. So she throws her special one, and she takes one bar of my power. She claps me, but I was very surprised. I was like, I'm going to die. It turns out I did not die. But you're going to see the ending of this fight is actually fucking sick. Like, I did the most, like sick-ass play ever. So I think the speed up's about to end in a second. Basically, what I want to do is make sure to not hit her when she has any of her Phoenix charges up because I do not want her to regen. This fight's just taking a long time, and I just want her to die. I'm trying to wait till she has zero char charges. Oh, sorry. Um, so she's at zero charges now, but she's not cooperating. So I'm gonna try to do it one more time. So the speed up's down. It feels very slow now watching this, even though it says normal speed. Um, is this normal speed? Yeah, it is. This looks so weird. Um, so right here, I'm just fucking trying to bait out a special two. She overloads. Um, so I think right here, I think I, oh, what do I do? I think I, I hit her, she goes into Rite of Phoenix, I throw my special one, and the last bullet does a block damage to kill it. So I'm like, that's hype as shit. So we get that fight down. So right here, I'm gonna make a critical mistake. I have a choice of who to pick, and instead of bringing in someone good for this boss, because I didn't know who to bring for this boss, because I'll, I'll tell you the notes in a second, but I brought in Heimdall, I, I decided I'm gonna go for the full Quake take, um, I've quaked one shot him last time I was on the other path, um, but I had suicides on and I had full health, but I can't turn on suicides because I have one health, so I need to quake with no suicides, and Rhino has crazy, um, physical resistance, so I was doing, like, no damage, um, so this is just painful, so I'm gonna show you just the first part of this fight, so what makes this boss extremely hard is, one, it's a Rhino, so just, you know, it's hard to get your ends in with the unstoppable and unblockable. Well, that's not the hard part. The hard part is he's this node. I think it's called, like, Tantrum or something. Where every time you hit him, he gets a Tantrum charge. And if you were to knock him down, um, if you were to knock him down at all, all the charges get removed and you take a blast of damage. Unless he has, like, an Innervate or, like, a Taunt thing on him. There's a few buffs or debuffs you can put on him that he won't do damage. But, like, I was looking through my characters, and I had, like, no good characters for it. It was, like, Concussion, Taunt, or, like, Enervate, and, like, something else. But, like, none of my characters really have that. 
So in this fight, I was like, fuck it, I just get a Quake. Um, he also has Power Shield and Matador. So he only takes damage from specials. So, or specials are like damage and deb debuffs. So I was like, well, if I throw a special, he's gonna get knocked down and I just die. So, like, it's just like, you gotta just do debuffs to him, basically. Unless you have, like, a Stark Spider-Man, I think, where you could, like, put, like, a taunt on him. But I don't really have any characters that have taunt or enervate or anything like that or concussion. Not that I can think of. So I was like, fuck it, I just get a Quake and Heimdall. And, yeah, um, that's why it's a long... This was, like, a 10-minute Quake fight, and I knock him down here because I have a concussion, so I'm not worried. And he has no charges. But you're gonna see really quick I make a mistake. Um, but I'm trying to Quake. Like, my whole life is riding on this, um, this Quake fight. I'm like, I really do not want to start this path over. This path is painful. This was the only path that I had to take off Suicide 4 because it was just... The science, the Captain America strat is just too good, and I'm like, I can't have suicides for that. So we're just quaking this guy down, and I think very quickly we make a mistake in a second. I think right after this stun, we get, I think, bitch slapped in the face. And you're going to see the right here. Oh, yeah, right here. He throws, like, a... I don't know, so I don't know what happened there, but he, like, threw something... And I really don't know how that hit me. I, I swear he threw a full five hits. I don't know. That was like a sixth hit in the combo. Unless I watched that wrong. I don't know. All I know is I got clapped. So the Heimdall synergy came in. And in this moment, I'm thinking, okay, I literally have one point of health. If I slip up at all, take a blocked hit, anything, I die. This was, I think, 10 straight minutes of quaking. And I just am so goddamn tired. And not even tired. I'm just like... I'm tired isn't my word. I'm, I'm fucking nervous as shit. My heart was, like, racing in this fight. I was just like, dude, I have one health. This would be the greatest fucking um, kill ever if I can actually get the one shot. And I'm just quaking. This is, like, this is so sped up. I think this is 400% speed. This is 400% um, times uh, faster. So you can imagine how long this actually was. Like, this was, like, the longest fucking fight of my life. Very painful. I'm doing it though, I'm doing it, I'm just getting him down, every like one of my aftershocks is doing like 1 or 2%, so I'm like, this is gonna take all day, this was like 10 minutes straight of just quaking in this clip, and I'm just doing it bro, I'm just doing it, I'm thinking to myself, this would be such a sick video if I could pull this off, this is just like a 1 health, playing like a god in the corner, I really do think they need to nerf this boss, this burst is too much dude, like it is actually too much, you need someone to do debuffs, or special attacks, but you need to have a pot, like a taunt or anything, or enervate. But it doesn't have the same node as the, the characters in the path, so I can't use Captain America Infinity War because my specials wouldn't put an enervate. I don't know why they didn't give that to the boss to make like science characters like usable. I don't know. So I'm just doing this. I'm going. I'm going. He's at like a 17% health. It's just 15%, 14, 13. And you know, I'm just like thinking, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm so happy. And I accidentally throw a heavy. I let go. And the taunt charges killed me. I literally was so defeated. My soul felt like it was just dying. This boss needs a nerf. It has way too many nodes on it. Um, I don't know, dude. I just don't think this boss is that fun. So I'm like, fuck it. I gotta try to one-shot him. You can see the taunt charges building up if I don't use someone like Quake. Um... I'm just thinking like, listen, I gotta end this in one special or I'm gonna fucking die because Heimdall doesn't hit that hard. So I'm like, well, I'm, I was really so sad. Like, there's tears. No, there weren't tears, but I was so sad because I, I just knew Heimdall did not have the reach to hit this one shot. Uh, I, I ended the clip. I don't know what happened there. But Heimdall died. I don't know why the clip ended early, but whatever. So now we go in on our fifth and final run. I slammed through. I am determined. I took like a 10 minute break. I am determined to come back with a vengeance. My final run. Destroy everything with Captain America Infinity War. I was fucking shit up. I um, made this smart decision this time to drop Archangel and bring in Nick Fury. So we replaced one of the... um. What did we bring? We brought Nick Fury and Quake. I bought Nick Fury for this fight because I was thinking, listen, he could be probably the only other character in my roster other than Quick that could actually do this fight because he can put debuffs without knocking them down. So I just got to just never knock him down. I just got to only do damage with bleeds. So it's basically like a six, seven hundred thousand health due to bleed Rhino with Matador and with um like the block proficiency node where he goes unblockable. I forgot what it is, but basically my block proficiency is getting fucked. 
So that's more fun. I mean, this note, this pad, I think this boss is a little too much, but whatever. I came back with a vengeance, dude. I was just, I was hyped. I was ready. I was like, I'm bringing Nick Fury. If I have Nick Fury and Quake, I can't lose. Once I got to this Rhino, my Quake still had full health because I destroyed every fight with Void and Captain America Infinity War. I was playing so well. Um, I was just playing like an absolute god here. So since my Quake and Nick Fury were both at full health, I put on Suicide so I could actually do real damage. People who don't want suicides, I don't know how you do it. Fucking these characters actually hit like noodles, but whatever. Um, so I was just determined. I was like, I was like, listen, Nick Fury, I, I s fucking saved up 30 dual class crystals for you. I um, ranked you up. Okay. I awakened you. I literally spent like four or 5,000 units to get five out of five deep runes for you. This is what you were made to do, buddy. If you do this fight right here, you are the god, okay? I, this is what all those units for Deep Runes came for. It was for this moment right here. We're going to make history in this moment, bro. We are making history, okay? So if we fucking kill this Rhino right here, I can go to bed knowing I don't have to fight this guy ever again. Edward this path ever again. We get smacked there. Um, pretty tragic, but we're in real, real Nick Fury. So I'm in my mind, I'm thinking, all right, cool. Let's do this shit. Let's do this. Come on, bring it on, Rhino. We're fucking doing it right here, right now. I'm not stepping down. I'm not redoing this path. I, dude, from the block proficiency node where you take 10 blocks, he goes unblockable. I don't know what it's called. He went unstoppable on his 10th hit. I forgot that was even a node. I'm trying to keep the distance between us not far so he can't go unstoppable and unblockable when he charges at me. Um, I'm trying to play like a god. I have like 5% health. He's like 50% down. I'm like, I, right, Nick Fury, you're probably going to die. But do as much damage as you can so I can win with this Quake, okay? Ideally, you kill him, so I don't have to worry about only having Quake left. But I know if I only have Quake left, and I have Suicides, and you can get him low enough, I'm pretty confident in the one shot. But I'm like, I'm not backing down. I'm doing as much damage as I physically can before beating in Quake. I was, like, my heart was beating so much. Especially in that last fight with the 1% Quake. I remember my heart was, like, beating out of its chest, dude. I was, like... I was quaking for like 10, 12 minutes. That fight was so bit long, dude. Oh my god. All right, we're going with Nick Fury. We're doing damage. I'm like, all right, he's under 25% health. We're doing it. Under like 5% health with Nick Fury. Just don't do any specials. Don't do anything. And you got this in the bag. And, yep. He, um, is coming at me. I'm baiting out a special one. I'm trying not to parry as much as possible. Only because I don't want to, him to go unblockable. I parry if I need to though. Because I'm like, fuck it, he's low. Let's just keep going. We're doing it. We are doing it with Nick Fury. And I'm like, we're going all the way. Do not back down, Toby. You are so close to never doing this fucking path again. Completely itemless. And if he throws a special one. And we... Oh, okay, he blocked. So he's making it difficult. We're trying to bait out a heavy now. And we got it. And boys, we did it. Fuck this path. This path can suck my nuts. We did it. Nick Fury is the Messiah. On my fifth try, we got it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Like, comment, subscribe. That was like the some of the best I've ever played, especially that run before the one percent health quake. Um, I was so hyped when I did this. So I finished Act Seven Point One fully itemless. I know you didn't get to see most of it, but I mean. I don't know. I, I haven't gotten the Elgato yet, so I can't stream, but I, I should be getting it very soon in the mail, so I will definitely stream the new variant and save 7.2 item list, maybe. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely like and subscribe for that gameplay. Um, we did 7.1 fully item list, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.